Welcome students to the video solution of Akash plus Baiju's mock test. Today here we will be discussing the chemistry section of the paper. So let's start with the first question. What is the change in oxidation number of nitrogen in the following reaction? And the reaction is N2 gaseous plus half O2 gaseous gives N2O gaseous. The options are 0 to plus 1, 0 to plus 2, 0 to minus 1 and 0 to plus half. So students let us start this question. First of all I am writing the reaction N2 plus half O2 gives N2O. Since we know that here that is in N2 the oxidation number of nitrogen is 0. And here in N2O, let us calculate the oxidation number of nitrogen. I am taking the oxidation number of nitrogen as x. So, 2x minus 2 is equals to 0. Since the oxidation number of oxygen here will be minus 2, that means x is equals to plus 1. So, we can say that the oxidation number of nitrogen changes from 0 to plus 1. That means the correct answer for this question is option number A. Let us move to the next question students. On electrolysis of aqueous sodium sulphate solution using platinum electrodes the product obtained at anode will be. Students in this question we have to analyze the product that is obtained at anode during the electrolysis of aqueous sodium sulphate that is Na2SO4. Let us see the options. Option number 1 O2 gas, option number 2 H2S gas, option number 3 SO2 gas and the last option is H2 gas. So, for this question first of all we will be writing the reaction that takes place at anode and as well as at cathode. So, let us start. So, I am writing the reaction here the reaction that takes place at anode. Students I hope you people are aware that at anode oxidation takes place. I am writing the reaction 2 H2O liquid gives O2 gas plus 4 H plus aqueous plus 4 electron. Now, I am writing the reaction that takes place at cathode. So, at cathode H2O liquid gains 1 electron and gives H2 gas half plus OH minus aqueous. That means, it is very clear the product obtained at anode is O2. So, the correct answer is option number A. Moving to the next question students, let us read it. Addition of a catalyst in a reaction does not alter. The options are rate of reaction, the next option is threshold energy, the next option is equilibrium constant and the last option is activation energy. So, students consider this graph. This represents reactants, this represents product. And this is the path taken by the reactants when there is no catalyst that means reaction path without catalyst. And this is this dotted line represents the reaction path when there is a catalyst. So, one thing is very clear that on adding a catalyst this energy barrier which is known as threshold energy barrier has been decreased as a result the rate of reaction increases. Also, the activation energy has been decreased. The only thing which does not change is equilibrium constant among the given options. That means, catalyst does not alter equilibrium constant, rather it helps in attaining the equilibrium faster. It alters activation energy, threshold energy as well as rate of reaction. That means, the correct answer for this question is option number C. Let us read the question students. Reaction between formaldehyde and benzaldehyde in the presence of concentrated NaOH is known as. The options are Canizaro's reaction, cross Canizaro's reaction, cross aldol condensation or aldol condensation. So, students first of all for this question we have to draw the structures of benzaldehyde and formaldehyde. So, let us draw it. So, benzaldehyde is benzene with CHO group and formaldehyde is H C double bond O H. 
since both the compounds do not contain alpha hydrogen and we know that aldehydes which do not contain alpha hydrogen undergoes disproportionation reaction that is self oxidation and reduction on heating with concentrated alkali now students we have to understand that on which compound this oh minus will attack this oh minus will attack on that carbonyl carbon which is more electron deficient since we know that this carbonyl carbon that is the carbonyl carbon of the formaldehyde will be more electron deficient as a result this oh minus will attack here one more reason for the attack of oh minus on this carbonyl compound that is the tetrahedral complex so formed when this oh minus attacks on this carbonyl carbon will be sterically less hindered you can see here when this will attack on this carbonyl carbon so carbon h h oh and o minus this carbonyl carbon will be sterically less hindered so student let's write down the reaction first of all i'm taking formaldehyde when oh minus attacks here we can see the reaction h c h oh and o minus now student this o minus will form a pi bond here and here hydride that is h minus will attack on the carbonyl carbon of benzaldehyde this will attack here this bond will shift towards oxygen and the compounds of formed will be benzene c o minus h and one more h along with that here the compound will be h c double bond o and oh now students since this is a good base so this will abstract a proton from the carboxylic acid and the compounds of formed will be HCO O minus plus benzene C H two O H. Students, it is very clear that the Cannizzaro reaction takes place between two different molecules. So we call this reaction as cross Cannizzaro reaction. That means the correct answer for this question is option number B. So let's move to the next question, students. Which of the following alkanes? can not be prepared in good yield by wood's reaction the options are 2,3 dimethyl butane the next option is propane and the next is n butane and the last option is ethane students for this question you have to understand that wood's reaction is used to prepare symmetrical alkanes in good yield unsymmetrical alkanes are generally not prepared in good yield by wood's reaction so i'm writing the wood's reaction here i'm taking an alkyl halide let's say rx plus two molecules of plus two atoms of sodium plus rx since here the two alkyl groups are same i'm taking the same alkyl halide this in the presence of dry heat oh gives r r if the two alkyl groups used here are not same that means if one is r1 and another is r2 then here i'm taking dry ether again then the products of formed will be r1 r2 plus r1 r1 plus r2 R two. That means in this case, mixture of alkenes will be formed. As a result, it is very clear that if we want to prepare unsymmetrical alkene, then Wood's reaction is not a good method since the yield won't be not good. That means the correct answer is option number B. So let's move to the next question, students.